everyone, this is Vickerman, and welcome to Factorio version 0.15. And this uh, came out yesterday, I believe, at least as far as the 0.15 version. This version is sort of hot, hot off the press. It is uh, 0.15.2. So what that means is it is uh, sort of, a, it's actually in the experimental branch. If you have this on Steam, you need to right click and go to the beta tabs. And all the newer versions will be listed there for uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.1 right now, and 0 0.15, 0 0.2. You can also opt into the experimental one. And that'll keep you up to the latest sort of unstable release, uh, which right now will be this one. There's a little message when you start the game um, that, yeah, if you want to make sure that you don't get stuck on this one, then make sure you do the experimental beta. Rail world, courage train systems, okay. Recipes and technologies are more expensive. Rich resources, dangerous. I think for now, we're gonna go with default. Or I guess we can really, uh, no, 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 all good. We don't wanna, we don't wanna limit that. And yeah, that's fine. We'll just go normal for now. This is obviously vanilla because we're in an experimental version. So let's take a look. Oop. Oh, interesting. Look around the territory here. Ah, and we have uranium. I Could you do this before on the map? Because this is pretty handy. I don't think I've ever done this. Maybe I haven't even tried. But yeah, this seems to be a new thing. Uh, maybe. If I'm wrong, let me know. Looks like our only uh, problem is that coal is relatively spaced out, which is not a big deal. I mean, this sort of area here uh, might be a good place to pool some resources there in the beginning. So yeah, I'm pretty good, pretty good with that. All right, we've got a tiny patch of uranium right here. Didn't even see it on the map. Uh, let's go ahead and nice retextures going on here. And new, new icons, very nice. Chop down some trees. Mostly because I'm going to need just a few chests. Oh, and that can get my coal operations going. So this is coal, right? Yes. We'll just harvest some from here for now. I'm going to pop you in some wood there. Clear some of these extraneous trees. It's a lot of graphics work in this release, actually, which is very cool to see. Oh, you have nowhere to put that. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, no, no, no. What am I doing? This. And uh, yeah, we will change this around, obviously, when we get the opportunity. Gonna need some stone. All right, now what I'm gonna do. Yeah, putting my, my drill down there. I should probably just pick the darn thing back up, right? 
so we're going to get a little bit of iron here. This is not the ideal way to do this, but... Uh, like the uh oh no we're good it looked like the stream had frozen which is no good so yeah this is no way to do this but yeah we just need a little bit of iron here and then we can get another drill and everybody's gonna be happy I need nine iron plates. Not gonna be quite enough. Thanks for the auto host mimes play. Appreciate it. Uh, and I think they've even changed this iron texture. It looks a little more high res to me. All right, got us a drill. That'll be good. And while we are waiting for that, well, we didn't have to wait long, but I do want my coal. It's a longer walk than I would like, to be honest, but can't be helped just yet. Whoa. That is strange. The uh, the alert thingy. It wasn't on, but it's still uh, still showed up. I, that was probably the auto host. So thanks. I did notice that before. All right get you over there and now we'll have some iron going so the next thing I want is actually there's stone here so I'm gonna get some of that uh, we're gonna need a few more drills not too many of these burner drills won't be too long before we move over to electricity But 10 stone will get you a furnace and a, uh, a drill, because you actually need a furnace for a drill. But for what I'm building, I don't need the furnace. Not at the moment. Could have put this coal closer. Oh well, it won't matter soon. Let's get rid of our box and we'll do this little trick here yep that makes sense perfect and those guys will start up on basically they're fueling each other but you can come and just take the coal out at any time and they'll they're still kind of do an infinite flow if that makes sense it'll make a little more sense when you see me actually take the stuff out uh but yes we want one of these in fact we want two because we're going to need it for that and we're gonna go like so do the old half Oops. And now we got two of these guys going, which is fantastic. Let's do five stone. And I'm going to make a drill and a bucket. Well, we have already, I've already got the bucket, see. I'm going to do this for the stone now. We can throw the wood in there, no problem. 
And that way I won't have to do as much of that. It's all about offloading my tasks here. Just a little bit of support here, but uh, probably not necessary. Yeah, I get some of this and grab these fellas. And let's get just a little bit of copper going. Gonna need to go and grab more coal, unfortunately. So while I'm doing that, I want these coal trips to be worth my while. Whoops, should not have taken that out. I want these coal trips to be worth my while, so I'm gonna build a few more drills. Two, actually. Yes, two. So now, uh, instead of just having two of them feed one another, we're going to do four in a little circular cube here. So I'm going to take you out. You're going to go like so, like so, like so. Huh? And that should do it. That way, the next time we come over here, we can get, you know, I think it's going to be potentially almost like 200 coal. I believe that math is correct. And we can fuel you. And we'll get some copper plates, which is fantastic. We're gonna need those guys. Um, so next, I think we want more drills and stuff because we're gonna need more iron plates than that. So we'll go like that. And I don't have enough coal. But that's okay. Let's just chop down on some of these trees. Because I'm just kind of lazy like that. This will get me going for at least a little bit. Trees as fuel is not very sustainable, but I don't like to walk. So now we've got quadruple the iron plate manufacturing. And let's grab a stack of these guys. Now, what I want is, I'm actually gonna make some of these copper, these uh, electric circuits, because we are gonna need them. Uh-huh, yeah, that's correct. So let's make uh, 15 of those guys. And I'm gonna make one of these which is where we need the electric circuit for. We would do it at this point, but uh, no big deal. Grab some stone and we'll just start making these guys. Uh, another Another stone mine wouldn't be bad. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to put these so that they both feed into, well, actually this is going to have to go over now, isn't it? Because of where that goes. Yep. Uh, 
should help us get our boilers going. Now, because of the placement of the coal, we're actually not going to use this coal patch. That was slightly more convenient for what we've done so far, but I like that this is actually a, a much larger coal patch over here that is right next to the water, which is really nice. Might as well grab this. Because if they uh, if they get filled up, then we shall run out. Oh, actually, that'll be perfect. So we can start on these belts. The key to success in this game here. Oh, there is a little iron here too. It might be slightly, uh, slightly useful. I guess there's not that much. So this magical pump that doesn't actually need any energy can come out here. I'm gonna get me a little bit of pipe. Oh my, this is totally different here. Burns fuel to heat fluids. Okay. Can you use, uh, yeah, you can use coal. I guess you can use uh, li liquid fuel too, maybe? Is that the idea? I wonder if these numbers have changed because these are much bigger. Well, at any rate, I think I'm going to continue with my what I know to do. And if it doesn't work, we'll adjust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven more. <laughs> On this end, we're going to do that. Will that discharge there? Probably not. Okay, let's not do it that way. These are taking up a lot more space. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I wonder if you actually need to, uh, the output, do you have to actually attach the, uh, steam engine to that? That, that would seem to be what this is implying. Don't know that I need the stone. But we'll keep going anyway. So I think this must must be the way it is. Let's pop a steam engine on, throw some fuel in there, and see what happens. Okay, yeah. Now the question is, is it more efficient to do it this way? Or to chain these guys. That would be interesting to know. No space, yeah. And while we're at it, we may as well build some of these. We're going to need some more wood for that because we've used everything we've got. You don't need a lot, really. So we've already run into a somewhat of a major change. Grab more fuel. Might as well fill these guys up. Oh, yeah, we are going to need this, aren't we? Dang it. There we go.
All right, more steam engines going. And more belts. Ah, you kidding me. Okay, we're just gonna move these. Okay. Oh, and of course I have no fuel. Kind of silly there. Uh, yeah, that was not the way to do this, but that's okay. And again, I really don't know if this is a better way to do it or if the old way of chaining these guys together would work better. Okay. So that boiler has fuel. So it should produce electricity. If we get if we, if there's a need. So to create a need, we are going to Make some of these fellas. Probably carrying too much stone. Oh, and hang on. Don't do that. Uh, just make like three of those, and we need more belts. Obviously these guys need electricity, but there should be just enough coal, I think, to make that happen, yes. So now, And there it is. So those are not, whoop, put that back. These boilers are not gonna work. So do you get enough steam, perhaps? I suppose you do. Okay, so this, instead of temperature necessarily we are looking at more at the actual quantity of steam that is coming through right so right now there's barely any need so since these are not going to work here i'm going to replace this with just plain old pipe in fact, 
Let's do an underground pipe so that we have space to get through here. And yeah, I don't know. If there's any excess steam once these guys are at full charge, I could probably pipe it out and then to two more engines for the excess steam, right? And we can actually afford to do this, so we may as well. I don't have the steam engines for it though. And we can solve that by putting you right there. Let's check the grid. Satisfaction is at 100%. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven engines. We'll see how those ratios go. you guys okay so our iron and copper are together I'm just trying to clear some of this wood out of the way. Okay, uh, let's pick up some coal while you're walking. Just make a ton of these guys. you and make a ton of these guys and actually Let's make uh, just one lab. And we're going to make some science packs so that we can uh, get automation going as soon as possible. Ooh, it pretty, pretty glow of the uranium. Okie doke. So. I guess we've got to get coal over here, don't we? Yeah, it's true. So maybe it makes more sense for the ore to kind of travel a, a distance. That's going to require a lot of iron for us to make this, though. Well, let's kind of spread, split the difference. We don't need this many of these guys. Uh, we're probably gonna move this, but 
for now. Just plop it down. We're going to go with automation. Yeah, I suppose bringing coal over is better. But we can meet somewhere around here. So we're not too terribly far from the power. Keep things somewhat contained, although obviously that will not always be the case. Okay. Get some drills coming. So, that'll work. And we are going to split this coal line off because we're going to need it for copper as well. But this is the idea. It's not worth doing. I also want to make this somewhat expandable because probably going to need more at some point. Yeah, it's not it's not too bad to expand this because all you got to do is remove where the two lines come together and then just set it back a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we can handle more than that, but this is a good place to start. Let's get the coal going first because that'll be a little bit easier. And yeah, we'll see how this load goes. Some science packs in. Gonna need this for a little bit longer. Probably should have made the drills first. Now, how much stone do we have? And how many furnaces? 26, plenty. Keep that stone there for now. Although, may as well. Keep it going. All right. 
righty. And when we have more need, I think I'm, I may go for a dual line design instead. Let's see, we are gonna have some on the other side. So I think that makes sense. Loading up the furnaces. Oops. Also, these conveyors do not need any electricity, which is a strange thing. Whoops. Come on. Bring them together. Excellent. Now we just need the iron. I'm going to sort of alternate these. Um, because because I don't want them to get caught on each other. And then if we need more, all we gotta do is extend this line down for another pass. Okay, now we should have a, sort of a sustainable production line of iron. Although, I will probably keep this going for a little bit. At least as long as I've got the fuel for it. Because it's kind of handy to just grab it there. Let's work on these science packs. Is the first bit of iron coming in. Yeah, I should have staggered those two. The arms will hit each other, I think, or grab the same thing. That'll probably be enough to get the technology. Uh, I am going to need logistics before I'm really able to do this well. Because of the splitters and the underground belt, which is going to be necessary to get these two, the uh, copper that we're going to work on, to join up with the iron. So make more science packs. And we've got some assemblers, so might as well put them to use, huh? Build me a few of these guys. Okay, that's, we're definitely not pumping enough iron in either. So build more drills. Got a lot going down here.
cancel these for now. Let's grab some fuel while we wait to keep things topped off. So now that there's a little bit of a load on the electrical system, we can check to see. I don't know, we're probably not going to max out anything. Excellent. Drop off me science packs. Okay, we can immediately throw down one there. And really, we can do one there too. Uh, we're going to have how many more? I've got three. We'll just do something like this. Power. There. Oh, and you too. All right. I think we've got all the stuff I need at the moment for for building things. This is a nice thing that I do right at the start to offload some of my um, the things that I have to build all the time. All right, production time is 0.5. You are also 0.5. So that's actually perfect. And we're going to have an output here. No buckets. Get a bucket. OK, so now we're making transport belts automatically. Just come and resupply which is a nice little thing that I don't have to do. Oh, there's too much woods up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, throw the science packs in. Just in case we need more of that. Excellent, that's what I need. So next, that's what, filter inserter? Not necessary right now. Let's go with turrets. Although, probably going to be a little ways before we actually need that. Well, we'll see. Certainly be a while before we can mass produce it. OK, so at this point, I'm going to go over here and get my mass produced belts. Uh, 
And as we go, that'll be more and more lucrative each time. That is probably sufficient for now. We'll see. All right, and I'm going to need a splitter. Because we're going to split the coal. Obviously, we're producing more than is needed here for a very specific reason. I think it might look kind of cool to go the opposite way. Of course, that wouldn't wouldn't be that useful, wouldn't it? So we're going to do that, and I'll split my coal into two. And you're going to come up here. Out again. Let's see how many you've produced this time. 90. That's what I like to see. I think this is going to be the way to do it. Uh huh. And it's somewhat of a waste of space, but I don't care. Wish I had some uh, robots. Same story here. In fact, let's kind of sort of try to just about exactly match. Even though, as I said, this design is not the best thing in the world.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're in the way. You know, if we go and expand this, then that will just continue there. Huzzah. Oh, hello. Okay, so... This is gonna take... Five ticks, and this is a uh, and a half. So one of these can handle 10 of those, right? That would make sense. Let's grab you a splitter. And for our science packs, then we shall create some gears, mix with the plates. <laughs> and that'll do it. So realistically, that should be enough uh, supply. We are going to move up to 10. Don't have the supplies for it just yet. Actually, these can be, yeah, they don't have to be spaced. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So essentially, we want to go up to five, right? So make space for that. And we're kind of slow right now because we don't we're out of those guys. So these are what? One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Can do always adjust later. And that works just fine. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to go and grab the old science lab. Still, I'm giving you enough scissors, have we? That's okay. I gotta really try not to move those guys around. Dooby 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 doo boo 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 boo. Come on. Yeah, that should be fine, although. Kind of dumb looking, but. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that that could look a little nicer. Nope, you don't have any power yet. And now we have automatic science going. Perfect. Military is so what we'll do next. That goes pretty darn quick, doesn't it? Okay. Five out of 30 per second, so can create hmm. What happens if you do this? Connect up the other ends.
I suppose they're stuffed, huh? I think the science packs are actually different now, aren't they? Yes, there's more. That'll be interesting. Let's go with walls. All right, so we can make one of these guys. Now we don't need five. Just need iron plate for that. So yeah, we should automate ammo production ASAP. Okay, so green science requires. Inserters and transporter belts, which will require automation too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think we'll redo our science thing before long, it's just to get us started. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode for today, well, the stream, uh, but hopefully we'll have some time to check this out a bit more. Obviously, I think they'll probably release some more stuff very soon, so there may even be a different version than this, even tomorrow. So look out for that. Um, I haven't designed this very well, to be honest, but it will be okay. So yeah, we do need that. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.